In the first reading this morning, brothers and sisters, we hear God reminding us not to presume um, our complete and total innocence and not to presume that that God will simply um, forgive. That is, we, we don't want to fall into the sin of presumption. That is, thinking that we can sin just because God is merciful. It's a great sin. It's like basically slapping somebody and thinking, I can slap you and then say I'm sorry and not really have to change. Um, and then continue to, to offend. Also, God is reminding us in that first reading today that we are called specifically not to trust in our own understanding of ourselves. You know, the human heart can be deceitful in it. We do hear scripture that says sin speaks to the sinner in the depths of their heart, and it basically blinds a person. Well, the good news is this. God is not asking us to be converted on our own. Jesus came to give us specifically the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of truth, and the job of the Holy Spirit, partly part of the Holy Spirit's role in our lives, is to convict us with love of where we have sinned, so that convicted with love of our faults and failings, we can cry out to God in mercy, truly moved, truly contrite, and truly trusting in in the one who has died for us. So we hear in the gospel today about how we are called to um, be radical about cutting out sin in our lives. It's interesting that in the early church, people only went to confession once in their life if they had committed a mortal sin. The idea was that people were so trusting in God's grace at that time and so trusting in how God can change people that that he helped them to cut out and root out all of those sins. Now, part of the problem is today we think, oh, I just have to try harder. Well, that's Pelagianism. It's God who is calling us to rely on him to do it in us. This is an area of faith that we really need to revive in our hearts and in our church. That is not faith in our own ability to become saints, but faith in God's ability to make us saints. So we hear in in that, that last part of the gospel today where it says, you know, salt is good, but if salt loses its flavor, with what, with what can it be reflavored, right? Um, and then Jesus tells us specifically that we will all be salted with fire. Well, I like to say that the thing that restores the flavor to to um, salt that's lost its flavor is the Holy Spirit. That the fire of the Holy Spirit can rekindle in us the flavor the, of, of the gospel, the flavor of the salt of the kingdom of God. And so that's why we've been encouraged in these past Um, decades, even the past century or so, to pursue a greater relationship with the Holy Spirit, and especially Pope St. John Paul II, Pope Benedict XVI, and now Pope Francis have been reminding us of the importance of baptism in the Holy Spirit, that is, trusting the Holy Spirit to stir up and fan into flame the very graces that we've received in the sacraments, especially baptism, confirmation, and every good holy communion and every good holy confession. God's grace is amazing, and it is able to do much more than we ask or imagine. And so let us believe more in God and his ability to root out from our hearts sin, not making agreement with it, just thinking that because God is merciful that we can be complacent.